Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing the key house and that's the house from Lock and Key House Netflix TV series that I enjoy so much, that I love so much and I'm so not happy with the ending. If you're not watching, I'm not going to spoil any, every, anything, <laughs> uh, but I'm definitely not happy with the ending. But today I need to share all of my excitement with you because I'm super, super, super excited about this one because this is my first official collaboration and of course it's with Buena Sims, my best sims friend and also definitely one of my best friends ever in my life and i'm so so happy that we finally did something together we were planning on doing collaboration for like forever but we never knew like what we are going to do we wanted to do something special and for the both of us this is very special because we both love this tv series we both um watched it in like in in a day or maybe two but that's something that we both share and we really wanted to do something that you know makes sense for the both of us so yeah um I did the exterior as you can see and she did the interior and today her video is also going to be out so you can watch it after mine just after mine and I honestly cannot wait because I also didn't saw the interior and I'm just so excited I have like bubbles <laughs> in my stomach and I'm so happy that we did this together because honestly when I watched the first season I really really wanted to do this and I just figured that I don't have enough time to do this uh, you know guys that I'm all about the details um, I'm always polishing my builds till perfection I just if I can do something better, I was unsuccessful and I spent I don't know how many hours on this uh, exterior of this beautiful old Victorian house, but you can definitely see that this video is 30 minutes long and to be quite honest, I could make it shorter. Um, but I didn't want it to because I had a lot of struggle with a lot of things in here, uh, with the curved wall, uh, with roofings as well, um, with windows as well. And this time I really wanted to show you that struggle just a little bit, uh, because you can be smarter than me and that you can learn all of the tricks I've learned uh, throughout this process and you are going to see that I really had a tough time especially with the ex uh, exterior <laughs> with the back of the house uh, because this house doesn't really exist uh, they built like the front of it only for the set purposes and the interior that you can see in the series um, is not the exterior in this house it's actually filmed on different locations many different locations and there is not exact floor plan for this or anything and the only thing that I could really find was a um, picture from the front from the left side a little bit from the right side so I was trying to mimic that as much as I possibly could and then I try to create the back of the house that could work for this particular build and for all of the pictures that I was able to find um, 
And yeah, as I said, I really struggled so, so much, but I didn't want to quit. And you are going to see a lot of roofing in this video in particular today. And that's because I um, ended up just putting little pieces of the roofs everywhere to make them look different than the roofing that we have in the game and more like like the roofing that uh, like the key house actually has and yeah <laughs> i think that i told you a million times that i always have problems with the roofing uh, not if i'm doing something modern that's usually pretty simple but if i'm doing something historical oh my god it's a nightmare it's a nightmare and also this key house has like the towers different heights and everything that we don't have in the sims so I did my best you guys definitely tell me in the comments how did you like it um, to be quite honest I um, I googled <laughs> I googled uh, a few builds from the YouTube like the key house builds and I just wanted to saw um, I just wanted to see how popular is it um, and to be quite honest it wasn't like a very popular theme the last season not in the sims community so i don't know how many of you is going to watch this but if you do i think you will be a little bit grateful <laughs> because um i will show you in here multiple multiple tricks that i did and also maybe you notice that when you put some kind of wall around the rounded wall walls the walls like the rounded walls disappear and they continued disappearing and then i noticed that if i actually put like a random wall somewhere on the lot not close to the tower um, then I can just copy that particular wall and like place it near the tower and I'm going to get the same effect obviously I'm going to have the wall where I wanted it to be originally but the tower is not going to disappear and i was so happy that i figured that out because to be quite honest i know that right now this game is super glitchy that nothing works and to be quite honest i really really want the curved walls to work for me because you know that i really like traditional historical builds and that requires a lot of towers and things like that curve the walls in particular um so i really really wanted to make them work for me um also you're going to see that i changed the windows a few times and that's because i really wanted them to look as much as the original and I just couldn't possibly find the right windows. First of all, I put this brownstone windows from Harry and they're beautiful, but they're having like simple swatches like whites and beiges and browns, of course, like the swatches we all need, but this windows were green. Like the windows from the original house were green and yellow and... <sighs> I would say ugly, but I don't really think it's ugly, but I think that it, in Sims, looks a little bit ugly, because it doesn't look so realistic, and it's hard to achieve that rundown colors, like that used colors that are super old. All of the colors that we have in Sims are so bright and colorful, and that makes me so angry sometimes. I really need something else. 
Uh, but long story short, at the end I finished this build with the windows from the Peacemaker and um, I believe it's Strangerville uh, override or Strangerville, I don't know how is it called, but I'm going to share with you two links in the description. One is going to be the tray file with only my shell and in the other is going to be the full house from Boana and Me, which is of course going to be amazing. Uh, but just in case, if you're not like CC user or something, you can still download this house and just change a few things. I didn't use that that much of CC for this exterior. Um, I used a few things from Felix Andre and most of the things are actually available for free now. Um, I believe except for the Berlin and Florence, I believe, I think so. Everything is everything is available uh, so you can download it and also I used some things from Peacemakers uh, from Peacemaker and mostly like the wall colors and the windows I'm not sure about the doors I believe not um, so if you are a PC user but you are not like a CC user I think this will work for you perfectly fine. There is not so much that you need to change, uh, except for the windows, uh, which is going to be probably a little bit annoying because it was super annoying for me. Um, but you are going to find some windows, so you don't have to worry about that. And Honestly, tool mod helped me a lot with this one, especially because I needed to place the windows on this tower, rounded tower that you can see in here. And I really want to make that tower curved. Um, I think it's such a big feature and important feature of this house and I really didn't want to improvise with anything else I really wanted like a clean tower you know with no endings or anything it need to be curved and that's it so I needed to place windows obviously and I had some trouble um, but thankfully if you pull like pull out the window with the tool mod just a little bit if you pull it out it's going to work um, mostly of course the window cannot be too big and all these things uh, it needs to be like slim slimmer window um, but it worked it it worked and i was really really happy for that uh, also, I used uh, some windows from Charlie Pancakes from her Maple collection and I really love this windows, those windows. Uh, I've been using them quite a lot lately um, and she has some variations about them and they're very, very useful, uh, especially if you are doing like uh, builds with the simpler windows and also if you want to decorate them by yourself a little bit they're just perfect and also uh, she made some swatches where their like windows are opened and you can put some clutter on them they're just perfect and Honestly, I'm I'm going to tell you that I said to Buena that she doesn't need to fill the tower with anything because I didn't know if she is going to have any problems and issues with the floor plan and that curved wall and I couldn't influence that 
in any way uh, basically so I tell her I told her that if she is having too much troubles that she just skip it <laughs> and that's it and also the other thing that I did is I tried to recreate the landscape as well from the original movie so I placed this lot on 60 by 64 uh, 64 by 64 lot in Hanford on Bagley and I was so happy when I found this lot it looks I would say identical, but of course it doesn't look identical, but it looks perfect for this and the whole sim world, like Sims 4 world. I think it works very, very nicely because, because it has this woodland uh, around the house and it has this beautiful big lot and I could do this entrance to the house that looks similar to the original and also I could fit the veil um, which was very important thing to do for me I think that veil is very very important in this uh, series so I really tried to recreate that moment as well in here so I'm really really hoping that you're going to like the veil um, I combined some different windows from the game. Um, one, hmm, I think that one version is from The Sims Werewolves and the other version is from the Industrial Loft Kit, if I'm not mistaken, and I combined them together to look like the round down windows in the original movies on that veil so you're going to see that pretty soon I'm hoping for that because this video is too too long but as I said I really really want to show you basically what I was doing and I want to share some tricks and tips with you and uh, basically, I want you to I, I want to avoid some questions because I know that if somebody asks me, I don't know, Monica, how did you did did this? I will probably say I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. Uh, that's the reason why I wanted a longer video so I can share as much details with you as possible. Um, because you would probably ask more questions about I don't know the roofing or anything that anything like that basically and I wouldn't know how to explain so I'm really hoping that you are going to watch this uh, or like a majority of it because I believe that you can learn um, a lot in this one um, I just I spent quite a lot quite a lot of time just exploring uh, my uh, my options basically <laughs> because I didn't know what am I going to be able to pull off and what not and as I said I really experimented with this back of the house because I didn't have any clue how that supposed to look like and I was also a, a little bit influenced with the interior of the house in the series um, because some parts, some rooms in the house are having this beautiful like glass roof over them like a little, pa a little piece of glass roof <laughs> I would say it like that so I recreated that in two parts of this house I really wanted that natural light to to come uh, into this house and also I added this greenhouse um, that's something that is very typical for me I would say I really like to build Victorian houses and I really like to do um, the greenhouse that works for that particular house 
Um, so I did that because I wanted to and I'm really anxious to see what Boana did with it. I bet she made made it very green and I just cannot wait to see it. I, I honestly cannot wait to see what she did with this house because this is also the first time that somebody else renovated my house. I mean renovated, decorated my house. Nobody ever did that. Um, maybe you did guys but you never showed me so I don't know about that but for cases I know never did that before so I'm very very anxious to know and I'm super excited and I'm so happy to do this with her because I don't know there is not a person um, with whom I would like to do this more uh, I also added some lights and those are typical lights that I'm doing that I'm putting in my historical builds because they just work for everything and I would like to tell you from which pack are those but I honestly have no idea they are probably even base game and they are perfect for all sorts of historical builds they're just perfect and you see me making a veil right now um yeah it was a struggle because we have a few veils in uh, in the sims actually but all of them are having like this uh, roof piece or how would I call it I'm not entirely sure so at first I tried to make my own veil but it didn't work because I wanted it to be curved and I couldn't make a curved uh, hole <laughs> curved hole obviously because why should I you know um, so at the end, I think that I used Veil from uh, The Cottage Living and that's probably one of my favorites and it's quite big so it worked um, for this Veil house or how would I even call it. Um, you can see here, uh, as I said before, that I combined two different windows to get this um, rundown feel. And also, I can uh, you can see that I filled these gaps. I I had these gaps under the the windows, so I filled them with this uh, Berlin wall decorations from Felix Andre. If you don't have those, you can use something else. I think that that problem has a few solutions, so it's not such a big deal if you don't have those. Uh, but I would say that uh, those Berlin uh, wall pieces really helped with the overall um, look of this house because I used them um, on all of the windows and they just worked perfectly with them and the overall look, I would say, looked the same. Not, not the same, but very close <laughs> to the reality. Okay, I'm talking way, way too much right now. Um, but bear with me, it's just four minutes more. <laughs> we are getting there. And you're going to see that I'm going to make this exterior, I mean, uh, the landscaping of the whole house. And if you watch the series, you know that there is not a garden in there anywhere. There is not a garden, there is not flowers anywhere. And most of the series is like uh, filmed on autumn slash winter time. Uh, so you're going to see in uh, my walkthrough that I made it on autumn time and a little bit in the winter time on the snow so yeah uh, I really enjoyed that a little detail I, I must say I I mean I really like it uh, like this on summer uh, but I really like it on the winter as well and since I want to 
cool down myself a little bit because it's so warm here in Croatia, uh, I decided to put this house on autumn slash winter uh, time. That's that's it basically. And as I said, there is no like garden around this place. Uh, we basically have this well. We have this fountain in front of the house. Um, this sand this rounded sand at the beginning and also I added a lot of trees and also uh, I made this slot look very grassy I put a lot of grass in here and everything so I really went to details and I really really enjoyed it so much and I'm really hoping that Boana enjoyed it as well and that you guys are going to like our house and that you're going to download it and play in it and make a lot of screenshots and share it with us so we can see your lock family basically so you guys we are getting slowly to the end of this video i I'm so excited to hear all of your comments and everything that you think about this build. So definitely write down everything what you think so we can discuss it. And I'm sending you a lot, a lot of kisses and I just cannot wait to see you again very, very soon. Bye bye, you guys.